Howdy folks, Synthetic Mason here, and today we're going to break it up with a tutorial for Devastator. <laughs> so here's the team, all the Constructobots that form Devastator, all seven. Let's see if I can do this without notes. Um, for starters, we've got Scrapple. Uh, Scavage. High Tower, Long Haul, oops, Long Haul, Mix Master, uh, Rampage, and the other red dump truck. Meh. See, I'm sure you guys know the names better than me, but nevertheless, uh, this is our mix. Um, I've done a few updates to the builds, um, so. I can give you the best version of them, as well as I figured out a few things that allow him to connect better in his combined version as Devastator. So on to the tutorial for each of these guys, and then if you want to see how to put them together, go back and watch the review of Devastator himself. Otherwise, let's begin. So we have Rampage for starters here. Nice little dump truck for transformation. You'll just stand him up, flip his head around. And there you go. And that is Rampage. These are the parts you'll need for Rampage. All right, so with a lot of these guys, I like to start with the base. Start with a two by two in yellow. Add your one by two modified side plates in light gray. Go ahead and attach his tank tread whip arm things. Yeah. And then we'll attach the one by two modified bar with a yellow vent, add the front 1x2 side clip, and your little 1x2 modified wall bit. We'll then add two, or if you have a 1x2 double clip, to the back. Go ahead and place our T-bar in there, then put a jumper plate on top of that. Black and white, sorry, yellow and white for the canopy. And then for his head and connector, We'll take two of these hollow pips, oops, put them on the T-bar, and then raise that up. That way it acts as like a smokestack in alt mode, or as, sorry, smokestack in vehicle mode, head in alt mode. Rampage. Next up, Scrapper. Scrapper is the sort of larger bulldozer. And then for transformation, his uh, dump cups become his feet. Bring down the back panel to be the arms and raise up the center so he has a head on him. Unfortunately, I don't remember the viewer that gave me the suggestion for the head, but kudos to you. You were right. It looks awesome. <clears throat> remember, folks, we're only as good as we are when we build together. So on to Scrapper here for the tutorial. These are the parts you'll need for Scrapper. All right. For Scrapper, I'll just start with his feet. So we're going to take this uh, 1x2 modified bar and add two of these little Exoforce robot hands. And then to each of those we will add a washing machine brick, washing machine brick, tongue twister, uh, going in through the back side of. And then we'll put the gray cheese wedges on the bottom and yellow cheese wedges on the top. We need to position those to make sure that they work, but that way he's got his scoops and feet. Then we will take that and add it to the two 1x4 elbow pins. We will add the hinge brick 1x2, the jumper plate on it, and a jumper plate in front of it. We'll then put one, one by yellow plate on top of that. Then we're going to go yellow, black, yellow for the cockpit. Put that on the front jumper plate. So we got the front done. Now for the back, you should use two 1x2s followed by a yellow tile. Uh, didn't have that, so one of them has two 1x1s. Always more ways to more ways than one to build a cat, if you know what I mean. Uh -huh. 
And that is Scrapper. Next up, we have Hightower. Now, Hightower, you'll notice a few improvements. Uh, for instance, I've changed his winch arm. That way, when he holds Devastator's head, it's not as obvious that it's Devastator's head. I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious, but at least now he's not just staring off into space from his side. <laughs> um, but for Hightower here, he can rotate at the top and roll about. Not that he, I mean, doesn't really roll, but you know what I mean. And then for his transformation, you'll place the counterweight all the way forward, swing around his sort of boom crane arm, fold down his treads, and there you go. And the head. Means of the parts lending for Devastator's head. So for his head, we'll just go ahead and get this out of the way. We'll start with the Travis brick. And on the back side of said Travis brick, we'll place the one by fishing lure, a single one by vertical clip, two top clips on each side, and then a cheese wedge facing away from the what's going to be the eyes. We'll then add the eyes, and then we add two more cheese wedges, but I like to leave these little guys slanted. It gives them more of a dynamic look, and then we will add the little teeth to the bottom, or to the sides, and then angle them towards the bottom to sort of <clears throat> flush out the shaping of his head. And there's Devastator's Noggin. These are the parts you'll need for high tower. All right, so to put Hightower together, once again, let's start with the core. We'll take this one by, th or sorry, two by three, and add two of these one by two hinge bricks, a single one by two yellow, and then the one by two modified side plate there. And then we were going to open up those two hinge bricks, flip the whole core that we've started here upside down, and add two wing bits to the sides. And now on said wing bits, on the back section, we will add one of those fancy new rounded one by twos and two studs, sort of acting as his uh, treads. Do the same on the other side. And then for the face, we're gonna add a jumper plate with a single pip on the front. Oops forgot a step. So we're going to place on the one by two modified bar on his, uh, or behind the jumper plate for his head to work out the counterbalance. So we'll add that. And there's his counterbalance bit for his crane arm. We're going to take one of these very old hinge bricks. Um, you could probably get away with like one of these and a one by two single clip to do the same job. I just like using these old ones when I get the chance to use one. Um, we'll put the jumper plate on the top of that and then flip it upside down. Oops. We'll then add trans clip to, or the trans bit to the single bit on one side. We'll then place one of those one by two end bar bits a single fancy new tube with a clip, a Exoforce robot arm, and depending on how you want to position it, a single top clip. Um, I like leaving it off to one side. And then that'll go in the center, floating. That way he can move it about and do all the things he needs to do. Long haul. High tower. Ha! <laughs> Next up, we've got long haul. Sweet little dump truck guy here. It took me a while to figure out because I wanted to make sure that I had a neat little arm bit 
And if you don't have that brand new one by modified bar, it will be complicated to make this guy because he is heavily based on having that part. Long haul. These are the parts you'll need to build long haul. All right, for long haul, let's start with the front, work back, and then we'll build his uh, dumper bed. So we're going to start off with a green 1x2 modified side 1x2. And you'll add a 1x2 rail bit. On top of that, we're going to add a 1x bar, or sorry, 1x2 bar with a single clip on the back. Above that, we'll add a green 1x2 followed by two of these fancy new rolled one by bar bits. Those will act as the shoulders. And then we'll place a lime green on top of that, a single lime green tile, sort of the exhaust. I would use a lime green with a hole in it, but I don't have one. I don't know if they make that. And then for the cockpit, we'll just take a trans brick and a single tile and place that on top. Now for the back section, Actually, we'll hold off on that. Uh, we're going to place a green jumper directly back. Add two washing machine bricks facing out. And then a green rail brick on the top there. We'll then put on two black pips for his tires. And there's his truck portion. Now for the arms. For convenience, I like to drop down his legs back into the truck. Add the two clips our uh, Exoforce robot hands to the back there. And then give yourself a second so you can go on to the next bit. We'll take one by three tiles in green, add one by twos to those, and add a single green pip with a hole in it. Now, if you're wondering where the heck did these come from, I believe I got them from the T-Rex looking Unikitty. Came with some of those as spares. Yeah, when you're looking for parts, look at all the sets. I got Friends, Unikitty, all kinds of stuff because I needed parts, and I don't discriminate. Lego is Lego. So there you go, long haul. Next up, we've got Scavenger. Now, Scavenger went through a bit of a remodel. Um, I changed his cups and rebuilt them so that now they don't actually move, which is unfortunate, but it gives him much more stability when you put them together as Devastator. For transformation, those cups just spin around, flip out his little uh, wheel on the bottom there, and there you have them coming at you. And then if you want, you can even bend them up in crazy positions. Eh? I guess he doesn't want to sit in crazy positions, but you still get the idea. These are the parts you'll need for Scavenger. Now, Scavenger's an odd one. We're going to start with his uh, sort of fold-out robot mode tire, which you're going to take a 1x horizontal clip and a 1x2 side bar. Add a 1x2 to the bottom of those, and then one of these fancy 1x2's half wedge and then a cheese wedge on that. Actually, turn it around so the cheese wedge is facing out. We'll just park that off to the side for now. Now we're going to go on to his dumpers, which we are going to attach the brick, and then attach said brick to the tile, and set those off as well. A lot of prep on this guy. So we got his dumpers and his tire, and now onto the bottom self. Take one of these one by twos, or sorry, one by and a one by trans, place those on a jumper, and now that'll sit on the front of one of these little tiles here. Do the same on the other side. And now we're going to place a 1x2 on the bottom with a 1x head, or the gold piece for his head. Place a 1x2 here. And now we're going to combine those together using another one of those 
sort of mac or almost macaroni, angular macaroni, 8-bit macaroni piece. Um, <laughs> and we'll place another one by two on that side. Problem. Now I recall. Okay, so the two macaroni 8 bit pieces are going to connect together. You get that one by two on top, sort of solidifying that. And we'll place that little gold brick on the bottom to be the face. And then we'll connect that there. Aha! Now, uh, to fill him out, We'll add tile to both sides here, and a single pip on the back. Flip them over, and we're gonna go, gonna go two bits across, two bits across, place on one by two like that. Oh, I'm doing it all wrong. Man. So we're going to start over here and backtrack. So you got this. Do the back first, which is uh, these two sections here. Place them together. Then I'm going to continue making stacks of two with these one by twos go underneath and that'll create the treads across the bottom of this guy. Now I'm going to place a pair of one buys followed by that one by fishing lure and then two jumper plates on top of those the cockpit off to one side. Now for our extras. We'll start by adding the treads on one side or sorry, the scoop on one side, scoop on the other, so that they come together to make the big scoop. And then for his little kickstand, I'm going to attach that to the gold brick so that when he transforms, he's got all his bits out. Yeah! Crazy posing. Scavenger! So last but certainly not least, Mix Master. That's right. Um, I add a little bit more body to him um, that aids him in both combination to form the neck and sand spitter router of Devastator, as well as it gives him a little bit more shape to be something closer to a cement mixer, seeing as how it's not terribly cement mixery, but nonetheless, on to Mix Master. These are the parts you'll need for Mix Master. And now for Mix Master, I like to start with this big red rounded brick. Um, this is going to be the neck for when you put together Devastator. Um, we'll start with two jumper plates using the top to go in through that side port on the 2x2 rounded bit. We'll then place a single 1x2 side 1x2, and then on that add a black rail brick to sort of cover that front grill and a vent to be the grill itself. Then place a trans brick followed by a tile to create the front of the truck. Now for the back section, I'm going to place a one by modified bar off of that. We'll have the clip facing down and the two one by two side clips to be the back section. And then for the back of the truck and now the small detail that I feel makes it sell as a dump truck slightly better. <laughs> is a one or a one by jumper a one by top clip at one of those fancy new rounded one by bars and then a gray jumper that goes down there yeah 
And then for the back of the truck, we'll add a single 1x2 in gray and a single light gray jumper on top of each of those. And that sort of acts as the backer, back upper portion of the, the cement mixer. We'll then combine a Travis brick to that small uh, horizontal clip that's on the bottom there. And on each side of it, in this second sort of little inner port, we're going to float a one by three on both sides. And then you will place snugly a one by rounded tile. Um, that sort of acts as the fuel tanks. And then a pair of pips to make up the tires. And now last but not least, because I forgot it somewhere along the way, we'll add his face, which is gonna go facing directly back on that Travis brick. And there's Mixmaster. And now, for the most part, you can go watch the original review that I did for my Devastator to see how these guys go together. The biggest difference is right here in Mixmaster. Um, for instance, with Scavenger, who in Devastator mode is upside down, uh, Mixmaster now will attach with that top piece. So he'll drop in right there, bring it all back. And then attach the face of Devastator. And that just gives him a much better look, I think, as well as now his head is centered, whereas before the Mix Master was kind of catty corner on there. So yeah, folks, uh, I hope you enjoyed. This has been my tutorial for my tiny Devastator. Extremely tiny in this version. <laughs> um, thanks again for breaking it up with me. Uh, got a ton of other stuff on the way, as usual. Um, but uh, now that I've got these tutorials out of the way, um, I can start building some new stuff. So we've got new things on the way. Um, I'm excited. I hope you are too. Thanks again, guys.